Little free libraries are structures that pop up in neighborhoods, uh, residential for the most part, where folks can pick up a book or leave a book. Uh, you know, it's a great opportunity to share uh, something that you have liked or something that you're done with, with uh, other folks in your community, as well as to maybe uh, explore and learn about books that you might not have otherwise been aware. Once someone puts up a library, they become the steward of that uh, in the vernacular of the LFLs and they are kind of in charge of just making sure that there are books there and that uh, you know proper materials are in there and um, you know beyond that anyone can come and, and pick up a book or leave a book and I mean that's kind of the beauty of it is it's a really collaborative uh, community thing. So really the only rule is that uh, everything is free you know we don't want people taking books away from these and, and trying to take them down to the used bookstore to sell uh, and they should, you know, have appropriate materials in there. Obviously, it's a, a library, so it should be, you know, the kind of material you would find at a library. But other than that, you know, again, the only rule is to uh, just share. We're a city of literature, so it makes sense to have a program like this that so perfectly aligns with our mission. You know, our mission is to unite readers and writers through the power of story. And, you know, the story of the Little Free Libraries is a very compelling one. You know, just beyond the notion of, of getting books in people's hands, just the fact that it sprung up out of a uh, community endeavor in Madison, Wisconsin, uh, from folks that thought it was a good idea to try to share books and, and bring their community get together in this sort of way, it makes sense to have that in the city of literature. The only one in the United States, I think, should have little free libraries. And so, you know, we were encouraged by the fact those folks agreed with us and, and they wanted to partner with us. And so we've been working with them to try to educate people here in Iowa City about little free libraries and, and try to get as many here locally as we can. I mean, the folks that started the, the Little Free Library program had the, what rather, seemed like a rather ambitious goal at the time of having more Little Free Libraries in the country than there are Carnegie Libraries. And I believe, uh, you might have to check my numbers, but I believe it's about 2,500 is what they were hoping for. Um, you know, the, the Iowa City Library was a Carnegie Library at one time. The building that's across the street from the library that's now uh, rental housing was a, a Carnegie Library, that beautiful structure there. And those are all over the country. Um, thanks, thanks to the Carnegie Foundation. Um, the Little Free Library folks wanted to have more. You know, it seemed like it's this century's version of trying to uh, you know, spread libraries around the, the world. And in a very short time, they hit and eclipsed that goal. And I would love for Iowa City to be one of the main hubs of that. I mean, if you look right now, Madison, obviously, because that's where the program originated, has the preponderance of uh, libraries there, but I'd like to see Iowa City be uh, a very big spot on that map someday. The city has some funding that they are using to help neighborhood associations get these in, so they should watch uh, in some select neighborhoods to see these pop up. But beyond that, it's pretty easy to, to, do, uh, to get a, a library installed. There is a lot of information on the Little Free Libraries website, which is uh, littlefreelibraries.org about how to design one of these, how to build it, how to install it. We have information on our website at cityofliteratureusa.org that uh, kind of enhances what the Little Free Library folks offer. And um, you know, if, if somebody's interested in taking part, whether they have materials that they would donate, if they're a carpenter that would uh, be willing to help build, if there's somebody that has books that they would like to, to donate to one of these, if they visit our website and, and share that information, we're hoping to be kind of a clearinghouse for that so that folks know how they can get involved. And, you know, it's a great project. So I think there's a lot of opportunities for people to get involved with that. So, I mean, Susan's got a nice mix, uh, some classics, uh, Madame Bovary, for example. She's got some, uh, I mean, a, an Iowa City classic uh, with uh, James Allen McPherson's Elbow Room. Uh, he won the Pulitzer Prize for that. He teaches at the Writer's Workshop here, uh, Bobby Ann Mason. Uh, looks like a good mix of uh, fiction. She's got some poetry. And I know from talking to her that uh, that has turned over several times just in the, the few weeks that this has been here, that she stocked it with some books that she had set aside for this, knowing that she was going to have this but um, those books quickly were taken by folks and other books have been put in there. So this is very different from what was there uh, before and probably very different from what will be here a week from now, which is uh, a great thing. So I might have to take one or two of these myself. So.
You can learn more about Little Free Libraries on November 7th at 7 p.m. at the Iowa City Public Library. Information will be presented about current efforts to build and install Little Free Libraries here in Iowa City. And special guest Todd Bull, one of the originators of Little Free Libraries, will speak on this global movement. For more information, visit cityofliteratureusa.org or littlefreelibrary.org.